problem in each of these scenarios indicates a lack of healthy and purposeful relationships between the teacher and the student. Building effective student-teacher relationships is not an easy task, nor does it come naturally. There are specific strategies and tools available to equip practitioners with the ability to cultivate the type of relationships that will create a sense of community in the classroom, invite relational trust, and open the door to learning. If we can reach them, we can most certainly teach them. Why is he yelling at me? My mother yells at me and now my teacher is yelling at me too. What's wrong with me? She is so irritating. I'm hungry and tired because we didn't have any food to eat and no place to sleep last night. I can't pay attention if I tried. Man, he tripping, walking up on me like that, getting all up in my face. You need to back off. Doesn't seem to matter what I say or how I say it. I can't get these kids to do anything I ask. They don't even realize that I only want the best for them. It's not my job to entertain these kids. I was hired to teach, but I can't teach if they refuse to pay attention or even try to learn. Man, I refuse to let this kid fail. So I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to make sure he's successful. If that means I have to get up in his face, then I have to get up in his face. But I can't let him fail. Capturing Kids Hearts is a teaching and learning process designed to intentionally build relationships, develop high-performing teams, and to build safe classrooms and schools. As we embark upon this journey to prioritize strategies that will enhance our relationships with our students and colleagues, we will focus on the Excel model, the use of a social contract, five questions for misbehavior, and SOLER, S-O-L-E-R, listening skills. These strategies will enhance our ability to effectively impact our students each time we come together, from the beginning of the class to the very end. We will become deliberate about our behaviors and interactions with a focus on our body language, our tone, posture, eye contact, level of energy, enthusiasm, attire, active listening skills, and our greetings. We will commit to providing ongoing professional development in each of these areas to effectively infuse strategies and tools into our practice. Positive behaviors interventions and support have transformed our thinking and practices regarding discipline. My teacher's voice is calm and he talks to me like he's proud of me, like he really cares about me or something. My teacher actually talks to me about my situation at home and checks in with me to see if I'm alright. There's no way that I'm going to let her down today. I didn't realize my teacher actually cared about me. He just approached me the wrong way and I took it the wrong way. He just wanted me to do right in life not wrong and he sees good potential in me. I had no idea that's what my students felt like. I was yelling at them. By changing my tone, I've connected more with my students than ever before. They didn't want to be entertained. They wanted to know that I care about them as a person and as a learner. I have always cared but just didn't know how to show it. Now I know how and what a difference it has made in our relationships. Wow, my approach was all wrong. I never even thought about me walking up on him being perceived as being threatening. Just by me making that one little change made all the difference in the world. Now, let's use Capturing Kids Hearts strategies to enhance our relationships as we take the hands of our students and attempt to open their minds to broaden their thinking. Let's capture their hearts along this journey of learning.